Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a Hollywood veteran who plays the vivacious Aunt Vi on Queen Sugar. All I know is, is that after that fishing trip, Ernest wouldn't take his eyes off Nova. He was so worried. And one day, he wasn't worried no more. Today, she's taking us on a personal development journey with her new book, the Little Book of Big Lies. Mm. Please welcome Tina Lifford. Yay! <laughs> hey, ladies. Hello. Pretty lady. Hey, how are you? Hi, Tina. How are you, Clyde? How are you doing, baby? I'm so very you well. look good. You Thank look you. amazing. I like this whole little setup you got here. Well, you know, I told you I have a great stylist. You do. Jay Every Bowen. Time, I, I love Jay Bowen. Don't you love him? I want to tell you, he's just so good at what he does. He just he is. He's a great guy. You show up every time you come down here. So you did your thing, Jay. But aside from looking amazing, we're so glad to have you back because the last time you were here, you said you were going to come down here and talk to us about your book. Mm -hmm. uh, the yes. little, it's the little big, what is it? The, the little, little book of the big lies, lies, honey. You know, the big people, lies. people tell big lies. Yeah. The book is little, so but the lies are big. The lies are big. Okay. <laughs> what, um, what inspired you to write this book? Well, you know, um, I wrote the book that I wish I had been able to read mm -hmm. when I was navigating, you know, the beginning of my journey into inner fitness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, being able to take my power back from, you know, those hurts, dramas, traumas, upsets, and disappointments that nobody talks about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That stuff that lives inside unresolved mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and sort of begins to control you and dictate, you know, who you are and yeah. what you like, what you don't like, mm -hmm. what yeah. you're afraid of. And um, I, I, not only did I need to take my power back, I knew that there were so many other people who wanted the same kind yeah. of power. Mm -hmm. And guidance to do so. Yeah. Absolutely. To get that yeah. power. Absolutely. Absolutely. But uh, let's just congratulate you too now. Season five yeah, of Queen Sugar. Yeah. That is yeah. amazing. I'm like, it's already been on for five yes. years, five seasons you already? Know, I'm telling you, it, it is the most amazing thing when you, you, you ladies know, mm -hmm. when you step into something, particularly in entertainment. You just don't know how long it's going to last. You, you don't. No you idea. don't. You know, the, the, the shelf life is oftentimes quite short. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, this is five seasons. Season four, I think, was one of our best seasons. Yeah. So for us to be able to actually be delivering um, in a way that has audiences um, in rapt engagement, that's exciting. Yeah, can you give us a little tea on yeah. season five? Just a little bit. I wish I could, I have no <laughs> idea. I know that the writers of Queen Sugar are in the writing room right this okay. moment. Okay, so you haven't started shooting yet? No, okay. we don't start shooting until probably March. Oh, uh, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes, okay. Well, we're okay. So you can't give me any yeah. tea, darling. I can't give you, I can't give you nothing. Darn we are excited for season five, but I am excited about the concept of inner fitness. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I love fitness, I'm into fitness, I work out and all that good stuff. Um, <laughs> but inner fitness is something deeper, yeah. which I just love the whole concept of it. Can you talk to us about what inner fitness is and how it inspires you to become a trainer and a wellness coach? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So uh, first I'll just define inner fitness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That it is being fit on the inside, mm -hmm. That's good. developing the mental, emotional, and spiritual skills and mm -hmm. practices mm -hmm. that help us to reduce stress, yeah. uh, to be more resilient, mm -hmm. and to be able to thrive and be fully alive mm -hmm. in our lives, yeah. right? And when you think about it, it, it just doesn't make sense that we put all of this attention on physical mm -hmm. fitness yeah. And no, and completely, that's ignore, absolutely. Absolutely. completely ignore the inside. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you look great, but, but you're you in pain. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. How do you start doing that? How do you create inner uh, health and, and, and well being? How you do you know, do that, Tina? One of the first steps to uh, taking charge of yourself. Your mm -hmm. inner self is to acknowledge that you have some a issues. Self, you, well, well, that you have a self inside mm -hmm. that needs attention, that has nurturing needs and, and concern. Absolutely, yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. And then, the most amazing thing that you can do is to begin to observe that self. Mm -hmm. 
you know, pretend like you are watching your life, mm -hmm. like you're watching a movie. Mm -hmm. And when you're watching a movie, you you can see a whole lot more yeah, yeah. than the characters who you are can, in the movie. That's so right? true. Being so true. Specific. When you start watching your life, mm -hmm. you'll begin to see things that you're doing mm -hmm. that you don't want to do mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then my book, The Little Book of Big Lies, will show you how to move through that. Navigation, well, Tina, I like that. And let me tell you, it's always a pleasure having you down to the circle. Be sure to follow Tina on Instagram at Tina Lifford and pick up her book so you can start your journey to inner fitness today. And if you're staying with us for the full hour, she's coming to the table and the conversations always continue to Circle TV on all social media platforms. Oh yeah. And we are back with Sister Circle Live, and we're at the table with the amazing Tina Lifford. Your book is called The Little Book of Big Lies. Big lies. Journey yes. into Inner Fitness. Tina, help us break free from the lies. Yes. yes. We're trying yes. to just get rid of the lies. Yes. And, the, and the lies are a lot of the things that we've told ourselves so, over yeah. the years, thoughts, yeah. beliefs, and behaviors, uh, baggage that we need to unpack. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about how that work is done. So, you know, the most important thing is for each one of us to recognize that we have an inner self. Mm -hmm. And just like you have a physical body, you have a self that needs nurturing, mm -hmm. you know, time and attention. So, um, and in giving yourself time and attention, what happens is that you begin to discover ways in which you are just patterns, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. unconscious patterns mm -hmm. that are keeping you uh, from actually living your best life. Mm -hmm. And one of the best ways uh, to begin to observe yourself is to become aware of what you're doing without judgment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Without judgment. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are sitting here talking to someone and you discover that there are ways in which internally you, you know, uh, I say anytime you are in blame, <coughs> in shame, in judgment or in attack, mm -hmm. you are actually being controlled by your surviving self, that mm -hmm. self that is always in worry, doubt, and fear. Mm -hmm. When you are open and you are um, enthusiastic and you are hopeful and you have a sense of possibility, you're in your thriving self. Mm -hmm. And the surviving self has gotten most of our attention. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we've got to strengthen the thriving self so that we can take time and attention away from the surviving self, strengthen the thriving self, and then the infinite self that says, we got this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We, we are ancient. That's we really are good. as old as dust. And there are gut instincts and just, just an overall presence that exists inside of us that can never be hurt, harmed, or endangered, and can help us get through anything. Mm. I, know that's well, that, I mean, what else can you say after that? Right? <laughs> well, Tina, listen, all the we know down. that the past is ever so present. We know that, and I'm sure that a lot of people will uh, relate to that. You said here, feeling bu bullied by an old painful event and insecurity. Mm. Yeah, well, you know, uh, uh, we don't talk about it, right? But we all carry unresolved hurts, dramas, traumas, upsets, and disappointments until we do the work to resolve them. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, if, you, if we're honest with, our, with ourselves, there is some event that if you haven't uh, dealt with it already, this is a, an event that it keeps recurring. It's a way in which you secretly feel whatever it is you feel, um, and that thing keeps recurring. Mm -hmm. And when it is triggered, you feel out of control. Mm -hmm. And it can be from your childhood. It can be from something someone said. It doesn't really matter where it comes from. Mm -hmm. The fact is, is that we didn't properly process it because we didn't know how, mm -hmm. right? But now that we are adults, there are actual processes. There are steps we can take to help that early experience now properly processed. What do, you, what do you say to the people who are still running from things that hurt them, um, running from things that possibly happened during their childhood? What do you say to them? How can they stop for a moment and really break through and, and, and really say, I'm going to stand up in the face of adversity. This time it will not happen. Yeah. Well, first off, we have to believe that we have a self that is capable, capable of that, right? 
and the little book of big lies asks you to redefine yourself mm -hmm. as as you know creative resilient empowered to choose how you see and respond to anything right and worthy so when we redefine our worth we say no 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 I don't have to give my life over to the past. I actually mm -hmm. am capable of standing up to the past. We have not had enough people share with us openly about how we can stand up to the past. And that's why the little book of big lies details all the things that you need to do at the end of every chapter, the 14 stories mm -hmm. that, actually, um, uh, that actually detail uh, some complicated um, concepts mm -hmm. in a very, very simple and actionable way. At the end of each chapter, you have exactly what you need to do mm -hmm. to take charge mm -hmm. of that concept oh, that's and amazing. put that concept in your Let life. Let me ask you this question, because sometimes we carry baggage that we don't even know that we're still carrying. Yep. Sometimes we think uh, we're, we're free from it, from it, but sometimes there's that one situation that happens in your life and all of a sudden it's attacking your life and your being and your inner self again. Yes. So how, how do we attack those kinds of situations? So what has to happen is just like with physical fitness, right? You have to learn the, the, the steps that you work with inside of yourself. Most of us don't know that there are things that we should be doing inside of our mind, mm -hmm. ways in which we should be addressing the past in new ways. And when we do that, when we begin to do even a tiny thing differently, it helps. begins to undermine the old habit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. more you do it the more you exercise yes. mm -hmm. these new ways of being the more they undermine the old and destabilize the mm -hmm. old pattern so wow. it says the inner fitness it's like an inner that's workout that's exactly right oh, doing the work my that's goodness. exactly right my goodness. well we thank mm -hmm. you so much for coming um, oh. we love you I uh, thank be you sure so to much. follow tina on instagram at tina liver to learn more and get her, well, your copy of her new book, The Little Book of Big Lies, A Journey into Inner Fitness, which I love.